Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm gonna share three things you need to get started in real estate photography in 2022. Now, the three things I'm gonna mention are pretty simple in talking about them, but they can be quite complex in the execution. But let's start off with uh, number one, a portfolio. So you need to get out there and shoot some photos and build up a little bit of a portfolio that you're proud of so that you can share with potential customers. Here are some of the work that I have done so this is what you can expect from me and i think that's very important especially having your own portfolio uh, because the last thing you want to do is say hey I, I can do real estate photography you show up and you shoot and it's not at the same level as what your customer expected so be upfront, create a portfolio also with uh, the portfolio is just to um, have a, a strategy of products right so portfolio which would be products so if you're going to do photography and videography have a portfolio of both all right so that moves let's move on to the second thing you need and that is customers and this one right here is probably the hardest variable um, to success you got to have customers but being new nobody knows who you are so what do you have to do you have to do whatever it takes to get out of obscurity and obscurity means nobody knows who the heck you are and what you do so it's just about connecting with people, building relationships, showing up to real estate offices. Uh, it could be social media ads, could be phone calls, sign calls, uh, text messages, emails to real estate agents in your area. The list goes on, man. There's there's so many avenues, uh, and, and you can be on Instagram or Facebook, going to groups, identify uh, successful real estate agents in your area, and uh, have a compelling offer that will be willing you know, somebody will be willing to take a, a chance on you. Maybe they're really happy with their existing real estate photographer, but if you're gonna show up, say, hey, I'll do one for free, um, they'll probably bite on that and give you an opportunity to, to see if you are a better experience than who they're using currently, therefore um, helping them transition over to you. So anyways, that also leads me into the third thing you need and this one can be probably the most complex, but it is simple and saying, I just said, next level customer experience. So at the end of the day, the customer experience is everything. You can have the best portfolio, you can get all the customers in the world, but if you lack delivering the customer experience isn't very good, you don't make it easy for customers to do business with you, or the product that you deliver isn't what it is in the portfolio or there can be all all kinds of things maybe you show up late maybe you talk too much maybe uh you know the customers having to interact with you too much just to get their photography maybe you're requiring so much um, from your customers making it more difficult for them to do business with you so all that um you know how you present yourself at a property uh, what that looks like, you know, the the whole interaction with the homeowner and the agent. So many variables going into a customer experience, but that is what is going to make or break your business, right? And I, I would say the, fa the fastest way to break your business and the customer experience is just like, think about it, like a Amazon package, right? You get a notification, oh, it's been delayed. You were expecting something today. It's not coming for a couple more days. How does that make you feel, right? It's the same way you set us up. Uh, an expectation with your customers oh i'm going to get you your photos back within 10 hours but then you're delivering at 15 or 20 hours and they're having to follow up hey where are my photos you told me there were this it's much better to say hey we'll have your photos back to you within 24 hours and then deliver them to the customer the same day that's exceeding uh, expectations very important in this business with real estate agents so anyways those are the three things you need to get started in real estate photography in 2022 if you're interested in learning more about the real estate photography business you can check out my free workshop the link is in the description below that's going to do it for this one reach out if you have any questions see you guys on the next one